Marshall. Red Dog. Clifford needed Emily, so she chose him for her own. And her love made Clifford grow so big that the Howards had to leave their home. Clifford's the best friend anyone could know. He's the greatest dog ever. I really think so. Clifford's so loyal. Clifford. He's there when you call. I love Clifford, the big red dog. So they packed up a family car and the Howards left the city. They moved to Birdwell Island and their many new friends. There to greet Clifford and Emily. Clifford's so much fun, he's a friend to us all. I love Clifford, the big red dog. little thing in the world. What a sweet little puppy you are. Huh? Such a sweet little girl. <gasps> a puppy. My sister's new puppy, and we're babysitting. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't she just adorable, Cleo? <laughs> Go on, Cleo, play with her. I think you scared her, Cleo. Susie, come here, sweetie. I wonder how long Susie is gonna stay. Come on out from under there, Susie. Come on now, come on now. <laughs> Cleo, stop. Cleo. You know you can't fit under there. <laughs> Go on, Cleo, play with her. Wasn't such a good idea after all. Okay, you two, settle down. Come here! Come on, come on! Cleo, sit. <laughs> good girl. I'm gonna put you outside, then maybe I can get Susie to calm down a little. There. Now let me get to that little puppy girl. <laughs> that was fun! Where are you, sweetie? Hey, wait a minute. How come I'm outside and Susie gets to stay inside with Mrs. Diller? I mean, it is my house. Wow. She sure is cute, isn't she? Hey, Cleo. What you looking at? Oh, hi, guys. Go ahead and see for yourself. Looks like a puppy. <laughs> a puppy? 
Yeah, a really cute puppy. We're babysitting her. <laughs> babysitting? Yeah, but she's so cute. What if Mrs. Diller decides she likes her more than me? <laughs> you really think she'd do that? Of course she wouldn't. She loves you, Cleo. But what if she likes Susie more? She won't. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, girl. Ah, <laughs> oh, isn't she adorable? She really is cute. Hey, cuter than me? Ah, uh, no, never as cute as you are. Right. You're cuter than cute. You're super cute. <laughs> oh, you are the cutest puppy I've ever seen. Yes, you are. Well, if it's cute she wants, it's cute she's gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to play too, huh, Cleo? <laughs> oh, how sweet. She wants to play with you, Cleo. <laughs> I knew she still loved Cleo. Cleo, pull that rope right out of your mouth. Cleo, you know that Susie is only a puppy. She's not as strong as you are. Hmm? It's okay, baby. You come into the house with me. What happened? I thought I was adorable. Maybe puppies get to do things that big dogs don't get to do. And big dogs get to do things that puppies can't. I can do anything that puppy can do, and I can do it better. Just watch me. Oh, would you look at the face on? Isn't she cute? Oh, can I just pet her just once, please? Oh, how sweet. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, what a cute dog. She's cute, all right, but she's also a handful. <laughs> Do they see me playing in the water? Oh, I don't know, Cleo. Humans don't like the way we smell when we get wet. Yeah, I don't get it. I think we smell great. <laughs> I don't care how I smell. I'm gonna go show them how playing with water is really done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, isn't that cute? Oh, so funny. <laughs> Did you hear them laughing? They love me. I gotta show them some more. But Cleo, the sprinkler stopped. That's why we have to make our own sprinklers. Cleo! here right now. She probably wants to tell me how great I am at playing in water. <laughs> I guess. This time, I'm gonna shake and get Susie wet. She'll love that. Come on, Cleo. Come. <laughs> Cleo, stop! <laughs> Goodness, what's gotten into you today? You know I don't like it when you dogs get all wet. I expect this kind of thing from Susie, Cleo. She's just a baby. But you're my big girl. You should know better. I know you're sorry, sweetie. Let's go get you two dried off now. Come on, baby. Let's go home. 
Okay, I finally figured it out, guys. What, Cleo? I think Mrs. Diller loves Susie more than me because she's a baby. So, I'm gonna be a baby too. How are you gonna do that? If you can't beat them, join them. At dinner, I'm gonna make the biggest mess I can. And then after dinner, I'm gonna chew up some shoes. And then... <gasps> hmm? You're gonna chew up shoes? Sure, just like when I was a baby. And then I'm gonna tug on Mrs. Diller's pant leg. Uh, I don't think that sounds like such a good idea, Cleo. I mean, what if Mrs. Diller doesn't think it's cute? Yeah. I mean, Susie really is a baby. She doesn't know any better. Oh, yeah. Bye-bye, Susie. You come visit your auntie anytime, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, Susie's going home. Maybe things will be okay now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> <sighs> well, there's my big girl. You know, Cleo, it's a lot of fun having a baby puppy around. <laughs> but little Susie still has a lot to learn. She's lucky she has a nice big cousin like you to teach her how to be a big grown-up dog. <laughs> I hope Susie grows up to be just like you someday, Cleo. <laughs> Because <laughs> I think you're a wonderful girl. And I love you. Woof! 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 Clifford! It's story time! You want to hear a speckle story, don't you? <laughs> I thought so. He's your favorite. Today's story is Speckle and the Heat Busters. On the hottest day anyone could remember, Speckle and his friends just couldn't stay cool. Not even in the waiting pool. Everyone wanted to play and have fun, but it was just too hot to do their favorite things. Then, Speckle thought of a way they could play and stay cool. He brought over some ice cubes and plopped them in the pool, then started a game of catch the cube. Then, twirling the garden hose, Speckle made a water jump rope. Soon, the grass was all wet and slippery. And Speckle led the way in a water slide across the yard. <laughs> Giggling and joyful, the friends all agreed. Speckle's new way of playing was totally cool. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> This is Wally. Wally, this is Clifford. Wally is our classroom bunny. And every Friday, someone gets to take him home for the weekend. <laughs> Isn't he cute? You should see him at school, Clifford. Sometimes we let him out of the cage, and he hops and bounces all over the room. Wally is a lot of work, Clifford. <laughs> he sure loves his carrots. I have to help Mom to store this afternoon, Clifford. 
Bradford. So I'd like you to stay here and keep Wally company. <laughs> Thanks, Clifford. Keep an eye on him, okay? <laughs> Looking after you won't be any trouble at all, Wally. Hey, Clifford! Hi, guys! Come on, let's go down to the beach. Yeah! I'm in the mood to bark at some waves. Sounds like fun. Then let's go! Wait, I can't. I'm keeping an eye on Wally. Who's Wally? That's Wally. That's the funniest looking dog I've ever seen. Who stretched his ears out like that? Wally's not a dog, he's a rabbit. Uh oh. Uh. oh. Oh. So you're spending the day with a rabbit, huh? Yep. Emily says he's a lot of work, but so far all he's done is sit there in his cage. Hey, maybe we should take him out and play with him. Emily says Wally likes to hop all over. He'd probably be lots of fun to play with. I don't know. What if he hops away? Then we just hop after him. He looks like a pretty fast hopper. Don't worry, T-Bone. We can keep up with him. Then what are we waiting for? Let's play with Wally. Why isn't he hopping, Clifford? Maybe his hopper is broken. <laughs> hey! Hey! Wow, he really can hop fast. We'd better follow him. There he is. <laughs> Wait up. He went in that log. In here, in here. I'll get him. Can you see Wally T? Yep. Can you get him out? No. Why not? I'm stuck. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. There he goes. Come on. Hey, what about me? Hey, Clifford. Want to try it, Cleo? Sure. Later, Cleo. We have to follow Wally. Right. I think he went that way. We'll be able to see Wally better from up here on the hill. See him. Maybe you're not high enough. How about if you and T-Bone climb on my head and look? No problem, big guy. Do you see Wally? I don't see him, Clifford. Nope. No Wally around. Wow, keeping an eye on Wally is a little harder than I thought. There you are, Wally. Wait! Wait!
Uh-oh. Now where did he go? Gosh, he's fast. <laughs> I'm all hopped out, guys. Where could he be? I don't see him anywhere. What we need to do is think like a rabbit. Now, if I were a rabbit, what would I do? How about you, Clifford? If I were a rabbit, hmm. I bet I know where he is. Some place where there are lots of carrots. Well, there he is. Yep, just like you said, Clifford. Some place with lots of carrots. He sure does love his vegetables. He's never gonna leave here. And he's too fast for us to catch and carry home. Besides, I'm too tired to chase him anymore. Well? Maybe we can't catch Wally, but we can catch a carrot. Huh? huh? Come on, I've got an idea. Great idea, big guy. Yep, good thinking, Clifford. Thanks, guys. I'm just glad it's working. I'll give him the carrot when we get home. Ooh. Who would have thought such a cute little bunny could be so much work? Yeah, he wore me out. I wish we'd never let him out of the cage. Hey, Clifford. Did your friends help you keep Wally company today? Isn't he the sweetest little bunny? Thanks for keeping an eye on him, Clifford. You're a big help. I feel kind of bad, though, leaving Wally cooped up in that cage all afternoon. Hey, I've got an idea. How about if I let Wally out to play with you guys while I clean out his cage? I'm sure he'll be fine. After all, how much trouble could a cute little bunny be? Everyone, let's play ball. Yeah, okay. Clifford and I know that sometimes when we're asked to do something important, our friends count on us to follow through. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is be responsible. Hey, where's the ball? Max said he would bring it today. If that's what Max said, then I'm sure that's what he'll do. Look, there's Mac now. Hey, Mac, did you bring the ball? Oh, I don't feel like playing ball. I'm going to the beach. Gee, Mac, we were all counting on you to bring the ball. Uh-huh. Then I guess I better go get it. Yay! Yay! Yeah! All right! Being responsible means others can trust you to do what you promise to do. It feels good to know that you can be counted on. And that's why Clifford's big idea for today is be responsible. 